everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the DSTAR01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphulis, and today we'll be looking at Hasbro Marvel Legends Cyclops. This figure is really hard to find, and lucky for me, I have a friend, David Corzo, who loves to toy hunt, and he helped me find this figure. So, without further ado, here's my flash toy review of Marvel Legends Cyclops. So let me jump right into this and tell you that he has one really big problem and that requires you to take out your super glue. As you can see here, his buckles on his boots, on his legs, and the cuffs on his wrist are all very loose and this is quite a lazy job on Hasbro's end, as a little bit of glue would have solved this problem. Instead, it is up to you, the user, to glue these together. Yes, this can be fixed. But considering that this is a new toy, I don't want to be putting super glue on it as soon as I open it, but sadly, this is a must. But once you do fix it, I have to say, wow. This figure is amazing looking and has an uncanny <laughs> resemblance to the comic book version by Jim Lee and the X-Men animated series from the 90s. I'm really loving the cobalt blue and yellow that his outfit has and it really pops and stands out, giving him a very comic look. The only thing is, I kinda wish he has a little bit slimmer body as his nickname was Slim in the comic books. Looking deeper into the paint and detail, this is one of the very few Marvel Legends that I noticed that doesn't have any paint problems or smudges, so it seems that the quality control on the paint seems very good. Looking at the face, I'm really liking his visor as it is not the same color as the belts and is actually a slight goldish yellow and contrasts his entire look. On to articulation, we have up and down movement at the ankle, swivel at the shin, bend at the knee, swivel at the thigh, ball joint at the leg, swivel at the waist, not so quickly upper midsection, ball jointed shoulder, swivel at the bicep, bend at the elbow, ball joint at the wrist, and one joint at the neck, giving him a total of about 25 points of articulation. You can pose him really well and nothing really hinders his movement. Excellent job Hasbro. Also I am digging the optic blast hand. And the one last note, he stands roughly 6.5 inches, making him the tall leader of the X-Men. I am truly loving this figure. And if you can get past the fact that you have to glue on some of his parts, he's an absolute buy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one. Hey you! Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah.